Hey guys, so as mentioned in the introduction video, I'm going to teach you how to do the spatial modeling, analysis and visualization of the COVID-19 epidemic striking a city and spreading in it from scratch in Python. And the only thing I'm going to assume is a basic familiarity with such Python libraries as NumPy and Pandas for um, basic data analysis and um, Matplotlib for uh, data visualization. And the only thing I'm going to add on top of it is a few other libraries, um, one of which is um, called GeoPandas, which is essentially the same um, Pandas library in that it offers the same data structures and uh, operations for conducting numerical data analysis on tables and time series, except that it also offers the possibility to manipulate spatial, geometric and geographical data. And we're going to need this library because we're going to work with a real city and the, its associated um, uh, geometric file. So let me quickly show you how to install it first. So let's Google it as if we don't know how to. Install GeoPandas. And if you go here right to the first um, link, you can see an excellent documentation of the GeoPandas library with its installation procedure, um, with a user guide, examples, and much, much more. Regarding uh, its installation, um, there are two methods to do it, okay? Um, so the first one, which I highly recommend you do, is installing it with the Anaconda distribution. In case you uh, don't use it or um, don't have it, uh, I highly recommend you to go over to, the, to its um, link and download it, install it, and use it in your everyday data science projects because um, it's a very widely used um, data science platform with a million um, machine learning and other statistical um, learning uh, libraries pre-installed for you, but also because uh, it offers pre-built um, Python binaries required um, for many kinds of uh, libraries, not only GeoPandas. Um, so I'm currently using a Windows operating system, but you can very well um, install the same uh, libraries confidently on both Mac and Linux, okay? But for some reason, if you don't want to do it in um, using Anaconda, which I highly recommend you do, you can go ahead and use the classical pip, uh, pip install uh, method, okay? So um, if for Anaconda, you, you basically take the snippet of code or this one um, with a Conda Force channel, doesn't really matter. After having installed your Anaconda, you go to your Anaconda prompt, Okay, and uh, you copy and paste uh, that snippet of code over here and run it. I'm not going to do it because I already have it. Or for uh, in the case of pip, you just go to your um, command prompt and uh, you do pip install um, geopandas, okay? Another library which we're going to need is um, OSMNX, which stands for OpenStreetMap Network X. Um, so let me first show you what's OpenStreetMap, which you probably already know. It's a free open source um, world map, essentially, um, built and uh, updated regular, regularly by uh, volunteers all over the world. And if we, you know, look for, for a city um, or any other uh, geographic uh, place, let's say, in the world, such as Yerevan, which we're going to work with here, you can see this polygon, okay? And uh, oh, what OSMNX does, it's, um, it offers a Python interface for accessing the API of OpenStreetMap and downloading or working with uh, geometric geographical data uh, directly from OpenStreetMap. Okay. And um, 
just like GeoPandas, you can install it either from uh, the Anaconda distribution, which I recommend you do because it offers all the necessary dependencies to, for it to work correctly, because OSMNX is a bit tricky to install if you try to do it manually with, through pip install. So I recommend you do it uh, through, uh, through Anaconda, but you can also do it through um, classical pip install. We are going to need a few other libraries as well, but they are rather minor ones and we'll introduce them on the go um, every time we actually need them. So let's get started.